My name is Shane Tui, and I'm making this quick vidcast to show off a new feature that we're delighted to launch, which is our detailed call history API for WebEx. What this is, is it's a new API endpoint that allows you to query detailed call records for WebEx calling calls um, up to five minutes post call end. So what this allows uh, users and third-party application providers to do is to build interesting applications against WebEx calling using WebEx calling data in a much more real-time fashion than was possible previously. So in this webcast, I'm going to show you how this works and explain a little bit more about the API. So I'm going to start off in Control Hub, and I'm going to go to my Users page. Uh, I'm going to search for a particular user that I created previously to uh, do this demo with, called Chain Compliance. I'm going to enter into this user's administrator roles, and I'm going to make sure that the WebEx calling detail call history API access box is ticked here. This is going to allow this user to query this API. If you are using a third-party application that's built on top of these APIs, it would be a good idea to use a user that has been created specifically for this purpose um, with the WebEx calling detail call history API role checked. So now I'm going to jump across to developer.webex.com where I've logged in with this user, and uh, Shane compliance user. And I'm going to go through documentation. I'm going to go to WebEx calling reference. And I'm going to find the documentation for the WebEx calling detail call history API. So the way that this API works is it allows you to query detailed call history information that's five minutes old to 48 hours old. And when I say old, I mean that all records will be included in a response as long as the call has ended five minutes ago. So if a call ends at 9.46 a.m., the record for that call can be collected using the API from 9.51 a.m. And it'll be available until 9.46 a.m. two days later. The API is rate limited. It's rate limited to one call every minute for uh, each org. And that's just to control load on our servers. Um, so if you're developing against this API, just make sure that you take into account the rate limits. So usually within developer.webex.com, I'm able to try the API live within the browser. But unfortunately, with this one, it uses a different base URL. So this functionality isn't available. So I'm going to get a bearer token so I can try this out in Postman. You can see in the uh, documentation here that there's lots of detail about all of the different possible response values that you can get from this API. And there's even more information about that in the reports section within help.webex.com. So the report section here talks about uh, all of the reports that are available from uh, WebEx Calling and other WebEx products. And underneath the detailed call history report, you'll see definition and detail about all the different values that can be returned from the API. So let's give it a go. I'm going to jump across to Postman now, where I have a uh, uh, a request almost ready to go here. So if I go into get detail call records, I'm using this URL analytics.webexapis.com slash v1 slash so cdr feed. Uh, I'm going to add authorization as bearer token, and I'm going to use the bearer token that I just got from uh, developer.webex.com. This will be valid for 12 hours. And if you're interested in creating an application that can call APIs on behalf of a user, I have another vidcast that I'll add in the comments of this vidcast that you can check out if you're interested in creating your own applications that can call APIs. So underneath the params, it's the 1st of December, uh, and I'm gonna, I've added in uh, the 1st of December at midnight UTC time to the 1st of December at 1 a.m. UTC time. I can just run this. And a couple of seconds later, I get a response with a bunch of records with all of the detail I could possibly want uh, about all of the calls that have happened in that hour that I queried about. So hopefully that helps uh, and is a good introduction to the API. Um, I'm very open to any and all feedback that you might have. So reach out to me one-to-one -one on WebEx and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much.